With JK, I threw the ball at him and um, I would say something and he has to just say the first thing that comes to his mind, whether I give him a statement or you a statement or one word and then after you'll throw it back to me. Okay, um, hang on. So, <laughs> I'm on just in case. <laughs> I mean, we're only two feet away from each other, Jay. All right, okay. so, J.K. Simmons. Amazingly talented. Am I only allowed one, one no, word? No, you can or? say whatever. Can say you can okay. expand on it. It has to be in relation to the movie as well, though. Okay, cool. All right, amazingly talented, fresh off of his success of Whiplash. Um, nervous? I shot with J.K. before Whiplash. Really? He told me about Whiplash on set at Breakpoint. He told me he was about to go shoot Whiplash and he was very excited about it. He actually really lit up, and he said that if the director did a half of what he thought he could do with it, it would be an amazing film. Wow, okay, so did you talk to JK after you saw Whiplash? Yes. Immediately? Yes, what I called you? and told him what that. Were you, what were your words? <laughs> what were your first words? I said? said it was unbelievable. Of course said it, it is. it was unreal, unbelievable, and he was right. Yes, Jeremy Sisto. An actor I've been a fan of for years. I was a huge fan of him uh, from HBO, uh, Six Feet Under. And when I got the script for Breakpoint, I knew that he was a part of it, and that was one of the things that got me really excited about doing the movie. And uh, it was a thrill working with him. David Walton. David Walton is talented in ways that people do not yet know, and hopefully this movie will show them that he is capable of doing so many things, and uh, he should be in many, many movies. His TV show, About a Boy. I loved About a Boy. I read the book, I saw the movie, and when the show started, I was thrilled that he was going to be the guy, and I actually got to go in and direct an episode really? of the show. Yeah. Well, the relationship between him and the boy on that TV show is kind of similar to his relationship with him and Joshua Rush in this movie. Yeah, David and I were joking around that his specialty is, uh, you know, like, weird, creepy man-child relationships <laughs> with... with kids in junior high. Speaking of, my favorite part of the entire movie, Joshua Rush, Barry. An old soul. <laughs> Joshua Rush is a kid that uh, he's like, he, it's the body or the, the brain of an 80 year old actor <laughs> in the body of a 12 year old. Uh, when, we, when he came into audition, found out his favorite show was 30 Rock. And he just had this real unbelievably subversive understanding of humor and adult themes and story and he's just an incredibly talented little mm -hmm. actor. He's, he's allowed to watch shows like 30 Rock? Is, yeah. is that rated R? Well it's on it's on TV okay. but it's racy <laughs> at times for an 11 year old but he's a mature kid. In reference to the visual style for this film, lighting? Naturalistic. Uh, we used naturalistic motivated lighting wherever we possibly could. I wanted it to feel real and we used the heat of shooting in the summer um, as a metaphor, visual metaphor for the relationship on the brothers and the pressure on them trying to mend their relationship and we lit everything motivated by actual environment. Not, we would, didn't want anything to feel artificial. Made in Hollywood.